guys say welcome back thanks for clicking so yusuf ethos is going to tell us why islam is very very unique and important the unity islam brings and how he met his wife and married his wife through islam let's check it out that i wanted to demonstrate a little story to you and let you understand when you see what islam is teaching you to bring together a man and a woman for this purpose is a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to live together. You don't have to know each other right. to get married. But you do need to know the principles behind what the person wants, what they're about. My wife and I had the chance to meet each other and talk. I had, my, I had two little daughters at the time. We talked for maybe a half hour, hour, in a, another meeting for another, you know, a half hour or so. And that was it. We decided from that that we would like to talk this over as a marriage situation. She came to my home. My father was there. My daughters were there. And while we were talking, my little daughter, she went up to her and she said, Are you going to be my mommy? <laughs> my wife says, Well, he hasn't asked me yet. My daughter came running over to me, ask her, Daddy. <laughs> and now I was embarrassed. My dad's laughing, you know. <laughs> and I said, uh -uh, well, uh, uh, do you? <laughs> she said, what? <laughs> I said, I mean, you know, do you want to? She said, want to what? I said, you know, get married. And my dad's over there. <laughs> <laughs> he knows I'm embarrassed, you know. Yeah. And because, I, you know, from our culture, uh, Western culture, I, I didn't know really what to do. Mm. She said, I don't know if it's in Islam or not, but I would like it if you would put your knee on the ground <laughs> and ask me, you know, really ask me to marry you. SubhanAllah. I went, whoa. <laughs> now my dad can hardly contain himself. <laughs> and I, I did it. I put my knee on the ground. I looked up at her and I said, uh, will you marry me? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't answer. Oh, SubhanAllah. <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh my God. I felt like a big lollipop, you know, a big sucker. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I sat back down for a second in the chair, and I'm thinking, oh, man, oh, come on. Then she goes like this. Well, I may be crazy, <laughs> but yes, <laughs> we'll get married. And I was so excited, mm. you know, because she accepted and because it seemed right. But then right at that moment, the telephone rang. Mm. I went to the phone, I picked it up, and the brother told me, my wife is ready for, to go meet this lady for you and introduce you to her so you guys could meet and talk about marriage. Because we had been talking about this for months, mm. that I wanted to meet her. But she and I had met by accident mm. anyway mm. on Sunday. And here it is now Thursday. It was in November, I remember that. And <laughs> subhanAllah, I told him, no, I met her already. He said, what? <laughs> How? I said, was the store where she worked, we ran into her. He said, oh, my God. Whoa. I said, she's actually here right now. No, no. He said, I'm talking about the lady, the Muslim lady from Texas. I said, yes, <laughs> she's here. Oh, I don't know about that. I said, we've already talked about, we've agreed to get married. What? <laughs> I said, yes. Allah. And he said, we'll be right over. I said, you'll be what? <laughs> What do you mean you'll be right over? Because I'm thinking, you know, maybe this is November, maybe next uh, summer we can work some <laughs> things out. Right. They came over from the masjid, these brothers from the masjid, and uh, one of them represented her and explained to her her rights. I didn't know she had rights like this. Hmm. He said, you need to step to the other room, and then you have a chance to read a written proposition from him. He has to write up something that he wants to marry you, and this is what he's going to do. Hmm. And this is what he's offering you. You have to put it in writing. I said, I do? Mm. Um, I've been married before. I didn't have to do all that. <laughs> this is Islam. Right. She has rights. Mm. And that's our point, isn't it? Right. She has rights. So then he asked her three times, are you sure you want to accept what he's offering and be his wife? And each time she acknowledged yes. And then he comes back and has her signature on the paper. He said, no, you guys are married. I said, that's it. That's it. Mm. It's a contractual agreement in front of God and witnesses and you have chosen to marry her and she's accepted and you're oh. legitimate to be married to each other therefore you're now married Alhamdulillah, subhanAllah It's as simple as that Wow guys, that was a beautiful story Woo! Now I learned a lot about marriage in Islam what marriage entails when it comes to Islam 
He said he, he started with how he, he met his wife. I'm sure he was still young in Islamic faith. That's why he didn't know much about, you know, marriages in Islam and some things came to him as shock. So when he met the wife to be, he said, in Islam, you don't have to, you know, be seeing your partner every time. You don't have to live together. You don't have to, you guys can talk once in a while and still marry each other. You don't have to do the, too much of the communication in which it's not bad per se. To me, I prefer when you do more of communication, you know, get to know the person very well. That's like technology has made it so, so easy. Gone at those days, during our father's time, it was a letter they would send for the letter will reach to you that's past days that you, sometimes you might not even get the letter. But nowadays, it's easier for you to maintain relationship. It's easier to for a marriage to work well. The same way it's easier, it's also dangerous, like it can fail easily because social media can either help your marriage grow or help the marriage fail. When, it's, when I say help the marriage grow, you learn how to, you know, do things. In your marriage, you communicate well. You and your partner will communicate well when it needs to be because you need to know your partner very, very well. At the same time, when you listen to what other people's story about marriages and you try to compare it to yours or try to have this mindset that, ah, all marriages are like, there's no way you want to marry. You get it. That's why some people are always scared to marry. So let's leave that one aside because I know I debated for a while. So after I met his wife, he said his wife-to-be came to visit his parents and from there his daughter, that means the man gave birth before he met his wife-to-be. So the woman, the daughter, you know, got attached to the woman and just liked the woman said, ah, will you marry my daddy? And he said, oh, your daddy has no ax. And it's true. That means they were not really, they were in, they were, but if she's saying that the father, the man has no ax, I don't know. You know when you're in a relationship, there's some relationship that you yourself know this relationship would definitely lead to marriage. But even though, yes, you don't have to be too forward by saying, ah, Okay, we'll marry soon. Mm -hmm. So she just had to go straight and said, he has not asked. Yes, they are in a relationship, but it's not left for the man to propose to her. Not her doing the other way around because she cannot force herself into it, even though yes, she likes the man, but she has to wait till the man is ready. Then the, father, the man, Yusuf Etis was surprised when the daughter asked that question. Say, ah, really? <laughs> and instantly he asked the question and she said, oh, I'm not supposed to answer, but I'll say yes. That means... If she was already expecting such, you know, reply or such question from the man from Yusuf Etis. So the one that I took so much from this whole video, the lesson I got from this video that I took so much was when he said, when he went to the family member, they said before you can marry her, you have to, she has to write a list of things she wants and you have to fulfill it. So that's what they call the right of the wife. So, uh, it's in Islam, wives have rights. So, I want to ask this question. What of if this man is unable to fulfill everything? I don't know. To me, I don't think that list gives you a guarantee that the man is going to stick to only you. Because in Islam, you are allowed to marry more than one wife. But I, I know that most women understand that aspect too. So, the one that he liked so much, and me too, I really understand, I got a lot, was the fact that they give them respect. If you want to marry the woman, you have to respect her. You have to do some rights. You have to, there are some things she, she desires. She will like the list, and you have to fulfill all those things before you do the rights. So, that's a beautiful one. That's a beautiful one, and I really, I was really perplexed. I was like, wow. And in my mind, I was like, what if the man was unable to fulfill everything at that point in time? Will it take him months, days? Will they, will they wait till he fulfilled the whole request of the, of the wife to be before they can marry? Or he can fulfill some and fulfill the rest later? And if he's going to fulfill the rest later, what if he's unable to fulfill the rest later? The, uh, the, the list of things she wants and so what will happen will the family come for the man or is, is it a taboo or will something bad happen you know that, I, I, I'm just thinking aloud guys I, I, I don't know why I'm asking this kind of question I'm, I like to you know shovel things and wait options that okay what of this what of it but regardless of anything that was a beautiful one and I love those steps that's the reason why 
there's a particular video I reacted to which was called the right of a wife. So wives in Islam have right and you have to adhere to it. You have to follow it for you to conclude the marital right or for you to, you know, it's a normal thing in Islam. And that was, that's a very beautiful one. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.